Solve the simultaneous equations x plus 3y equals 12, 5x minus y equals 4. So there's two ways we can do this question. We can either substitute one of these equations into the other equation, or we can add these equations together to eliminate one of the variables. Now if we're using the second method, what we need to do is multiply one of these equations so that it has the same coefficient on one of the terms as the other equation. So if we label these equations equation 1 and equation 2, what we can do is we can multiply equation 2 by 3 so that we can add these two equations together to eliminate the y term. So in order to multiply this equation, we need to multiply both the left hand side and the right hand side by 3. So 5x minus y multiplied by 3 will give us 15x minus 3y. And 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. So now what we can do is add equation 1 to equation 2. So equation 1 is x plus 3y equals 12. And then our new equation 2 is 15x minus 3y equals 12. And when we add these together, we can add all of the x terms, all of the y terms, and all of the numerical terms separately. So x plus 15x will give us 16x. 3y plus negative 3y will give us 0. And then 12 plus 12 gives us 24. So this tells us that 16x is equal to 24. So now the final thing we need to do with this equation is divide both sides by 16. And this tells us that x is equal to 1.5. So now what we need to do is substitute this value of x back into one of the original equations so that we're just left with the y term and we can therefore work out the value of y. So if we substitute x equals 1.5 into equation 1, this gives us 1.5 plus 3y is equal to 12. And if we minus 1.5 from both sides, this tells us that 3y is equal to 10.5. And the final thing we can do is divide both sides by 3. And this tells us that y is equal to 3.5. So as you can see, we've worked out the value of both x and y. And these are our final answer. Now this question's worth three marks. We'll get one mark for eliminating one of the variables. We'll get our second mark for substituting the value of x we worked out into one of the equations and our third mark for the correct answer.